Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on flip sides. Happy Halloween everyone. I felt that for today's video, we would go ahead and walk through Miss Moore. Actually see the whole zone. I felt that would be a good Halloween kind of atmosphere, and... Well, it's raining in Lesser Fate Arc anyway. I felt it was a good vibe to just start here. So let's go ahead and get on and uh, start the video. Upon this keep I do place a curse upon mortal men that whomever steps on these sacred lands become fray and die. Did you guys hear that? That was kind of whoa did you see that that was kind of odd so we are in miss more today this is the pond area that we're coming into by the way there's a lot of names in this zone that don't really relate to anything like this is called the corner whoa i saw something there again are you seeing it i'm i'm kind of nervous about it so we're going to go ahead and walk through this valley. There is no name for it, though I'm surprised they didn't put a name um, on the wiki. This is the valley. This is actually a place that people will camp if the pond is camped to, uh, or the whole zone is camped, and this is the only place they have left. Then we have the graveyard. We have several different mobs in here. We have the imp for sure, the glyph goal. Um, I think his name is Synthi, or maybe it's a her. Actually, I, I've never known. They're, they're shadow men, and they have a quest that you turn in uh, a item that you get from on top of the crypt in here. Uh, oh, did you see that? Was that a smile? What was that? I don't... Anyway, just... <laughs> I'm over it. I'm over it. Come on. May I just let me let me do the walkthrough in peace in here there's mobs that can spawn behind each one of these doors and as you can see there is a false wall here that we can go up and if we were to not here but once we get up the steps completely if we were to go left that is the torture room and if we go right it, that is, by the way, I'm hitting every wall because I want to make sure there is no other false walls that I'm missing. Uh, because while this is um, something that I did for a video, I learned a ton about the zone. By the way, this is the tower that you see whenever you come into the zone. And up here is actually a mob I've never seen before. Also, loot that I've never seen before outside. Actually, I've never seen this loot for sale anywhere. So, it's not a camp that's really camp very much, I guess. Uh, I think there's a breastplate that's involved. And it just is really, uh, it's a really cool thing. I want to definitely camp it at some point just to take a look at the breastplate itself. There's also other, there's mobs in the zone that are listed that don't have actual loot listed for them. And I wasn't even able to get accurate information on their full names until I went over to, um, to other websites other than our current wiki uh, for Project 1999. So this is the pit here. And we are going to continue traveling through here. This is all called the pit until we get to this next section, which is called the cavern or the canyon. I'm sorry. And this is where any spawns. She drops uh, one of the three runes. I think it's, there. it's the top, the bottom and something else. Uh, and I cannot remember for the life of me what that quest is for. But I believe in the rest of the video, I do start making sure to put quest names at least around or under or near the mobs um, list. This is the castle entrance. This is where a lot of people will come around 30 to 35. And again, another look. By the way, that is where... Um, uh, the dire wolf I, I almost forgot what it was called 
the dire wolf will spawn after you kill the advisor and we'll we'll show you where the advisor is as well there's mobs all throughout this section here one on each end of this hallway and then we're coming into the entry hall now there's a top and lower section i'm going to check the the top area just to make sure that i remember there is stairs leading yes okay so there are stairs leading up uh, we'll go to that area uh, in a little bit because there's a hidden way to get to that area so this next room is called the piano room and there really is no specific reason it i mean it just has a piano there's nothing else going on in it and then it leads to the courtyard this is actually another camp it has one mob that is up right there and it is also for quest uh the f no it's not for the fang quest there is a fang quest listed in here as well the hooded black uh cloak drops in the fountain room or the fountain <laughs> is what it's called but it's still all of the courtyard i don't think i've ever been in castle miss Moore whenever somebody claimed the <laughs> Uh, the fountain I, I don't think that's a thing so the next area this is the room that really is mysterious there is the gypsy ambassador and there's the dark elf negotiator no information on actual loots and this is a room we're going to come back to uh, it actually goes uh, via the next area that we're going to go to so it's I just wanted to show you this section here this is the ballroom this is where the um the gypsy princess spawns and uh she's the one who drops the miss more loot and the um the or, or yeah is it miss more drum and the loot of the uh gypsy princess uh some gargoyles in here and you can see this leads back into the negotiator's room now we're going to go back uh the next area is going to be the kitchen and that is has uh, has no names at, that i could find on the list other than um than just what's in here there's no actual named loot that drops in here and this whole area here is called the servant room it's two actual rooms in this room we have made isis and she is part of the fang quest and then you also have the butler in this other room for i think i'm looking at everything trying to make sure that nothing is false and my so falls though i get it refreshed thank you to a uh, druid that was at the uh, castle entrance uh, they ended up giving me um giving me a so and again checking <laughs> checking everything i want to make sure because Whenever I was doing this, I did have a map listed, and I also had a list of where every mob was. But still, I I this was a true first time full walkthrough of the zone on my own, and I wanted to make sure that I was doing it correctly. And um, and that's I mean, if you were coming here for the first time, no direction, no information, I would hope. That you'd be doing the same so here you can see i ended up getting my so back and we're moving with haste we're going to go ahead and go back to the piano room and through the picture of i guess that's may on miss moore as a young lad gentleman and it leads up to may on miss moore's crypt his his actual coffin and uh it's uh it's pretty cool i should have gone in there a little bit oh i saw something there <laughs> just, just come on me on stop haunting me uh so in this area it leads up to the very last section of the zone this is actually a back way and leads into the bath where the diamond dean earring drops as well as the hilt for the uh, soul fire now this isn't the only room that drops the diamond dean earring there is another mob as well um, in the throne room uh, but we'll get there in a moment now this is a middle room that leads into the advisor's room and I, whenever i was first coming up here i thought this 
next area was going to be the advisor's room, but this is actually just a library with mobs. Um, there's really nothing in here specifically that is um, that's of note. Now, I believe I go into the throne room next, but oh, I did. I did. I do right. No, I, I do go back to the throne room. Either way, I don't really post the information on the throne room until we go back around to the proper side. But you can see here, this is the back area of the throne room uh, where a dark ritualist is in the place of the actual princess. And then, um, yeah, so it's just showing that it goes back into uh, the throne room again for both doors. And uh, yeah, so now the next area, this is something that I actually had to do research on the quest that's involved because the, um, uh, I don't know why I'm still in this area. Sorry. Um, the, the quest for this area actually puts the true location of the librarian. So on the wiki it shows that you would go through not this door uh but that door and this is where it shows that the librarian is actually at that is not correct uh through the actual quest it shows that not this room but the next room is the librarian's room this is for the green mist quest part seven of of the uh, curry uh, sword and then finally the throne room so i hope you guys enjoyed i uh, really want to just do a zone that would be great for halloween and uh just had a lot of fun with it especially learning a whole lot more about the zone and this is how all of these videos have gone for me is i learned a lot about said last time i did it and I also have learned more about Miss Moore. All right, everyone. I think we're going to go ahead and end it here. Here is a quick question. How many Miss Moores did you actually see in the video? And how many did you miss? <gasps> Happy Halloween, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is Cypherdeck. Peace out.